there's gauze in me right now. So we're supposed to be early and now really no, we're still far away. We're next to Camp Kame, which is way far away from Makati. Philippines traffic, yo. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing blocking the road. Okay, Don Don and one championship by management groups. This may be a little extra. But here in the Philippines, I would like to have a helicopter. <laughs> so we made it into the office. We're here at the Kato Clinic. At 1020. Almost a full hour past our appointment. So we'll see how long we have to wait because of us being late. Yeah. Any point, you Okay. Um, you'll feel a bit of pain. Yeah, I already feel it. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy ish. So sorry. It's okay. Like, think of the fish bone just scratching the middle. <sighs> <laughs> Doc says I have to get blood extracted because we have two large follicles, which I don't know what to do. <laughs> she seemed pretty excited. Let's see when that's going to It's back. And then, but what, what does it mean that we she has two large follicles? What makes it being done? Ah, it is We will wait for them. If okay, sila, um, correlate with the blood extraction. If it's okay and then possible scheduling of meds or retrieval. Oh, okay. Is that very, very cool. Is that very <laughs> little to have only two? No. We don't need a lot of follicles. We need eggs within the follicle. Oh, ah, yes. How about it's some follicle, it's some egg. So we just left Kato and uh, Ninja went through a gambit of stuff today. But. And then I'm a punk, excuse my language, I'm a punk ass. Cause when Ninja's over there getting hurt, I'm getting mad or getting upset and I keep saying sorry to her the whole time. But she's, she's a trooper. We do have good reports, like like, nothing's been bad, but at the end. So basically what they said, so today we got, I did my blood testing for my hormones. I did an ultrasound to see how much um, the follicles and see how many we can see in my ovaries and then we did the ultrasound for my fallopian tubes which are really bad I don't even know how to explain it it's like I thought I had really bad cramps what did doc say about childbirth she said childbirth is 10 times worse than what I was experiencing the pain right now what they said is I have to come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. they're gonna do another ultrasound of my follicles and ovaries just so they can grade it and hopefully they got go up to number 18 they get closer with it from the medicine taking today and then we'll do blood work again and just sit and wait just to see what the next steps are because if everything's going good then we can start harvesting like egg extraction maybe by the 24th or 25th of next week so tomorrow is supposed to be a free day and i already had training scheduled with a group of people now it's full with uh morning round of everything again for Ninja and, and us having a baby so sorry I'll see you guys after <laughs> so we forgot to do the video earlier but and it's early it's 
it's really early. Yeah, so we got to the Cato Clinic at about 8.40 a.m. and our appointment's between 9 and 9.30. So, just got my blood extracted, and now we're waiting to do a transvaginal ultrasound and a consultation. We'll fill you in with more stuff today, just uh, from yesterday to today. We'll see how much everything has changed, and we'll see. Same thing we did yesterday. Same thing. Oh, not the painful, not okay. the full thing, too. Just okay. transvaginal ultrasound. I was getting nervous for you. I was like, no. <laughs> I cannot, I can't. Four? Yeah. Are you extraction when, Linda? Two days time? Yes. On Monday at 8 On Monday. I would oh suggest man. that you be sedated. <laughs> <laughs> and if I fall asleep, because you fall asleep. It's a good, good sleep. I think it's like after a spa, that's how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll see you on Monday. Yes. Okay, good luck to you guys. Thank we'll you, Doc. I appreciate it. today? Way better because there was no pain except oh. when I hit my side from my injection yesterday. <laughs> and then we'll start doing the ICSI, the culturing to turn it from the egg and sperm into an embryo. How many do we decide for embryos? We decided six. So we're going to do six. We decided, when did we decide that? Yesterday. I said five, I said six because even numbers. Even numbers. Yeah, so let's. <laughs> Let's finish it right now. Good morning. Hmm. Hanenta. Yeah. What are we doing today? We're doing my OPU, aka egg retrieval. We're harvesting from Ninja today. We've been fasting since at least midnight. <laughs> and look what they have on TV while we're fasting. Don't eat or drink anything, not even water. Well, I won't put a cooking show on while you wait. So, um, just went to the back. I'm supposed to be in the recovery room and I'm waiting for the doctor to come see. They wouldn't allow Brandon back, which I didn't know. So now he has to wait and give a semen sample once I'm done. So we'll see how it goes. So Ninja just did her egg retrieval. She said it was the best sleep that she ever got. I tried to stay up. <laughs> Didn't happen. Then we're wrapped in blankets because it's freezing. Good job, Kato. <laughs> Today we found my numbers actually shot up again. again. Today's numbers were at 12, uh, 10.1 million for sperm count. It might not seem like a lot, and I keep saying this a lot, but I was at zero. Ninja got her egg extraction done today. So we started, we got there at 5.15, so we ended up just hanging out in the car because it was still kind of dark outside. <laughs> we beat the sun out. <laughs> yeah, so I was trying to take a nap, and then when we got in there, we did the walkthrough of checking in, we went and got did our blood pressure and then they finally called me back to the, the recovery slash operating room and they wouldn't let Brandy in. <laughs> uh -huh. Brandon looked like he was gonna cuss someone out. <laughs> but we didn't know that the men aren't allowed back there. Yeah. It's, but once once I saw the layout, it's because it's all women back it's, there. It's, it's all women yeah. and then the room the floor plan's kinda open and so only divided by a curtain. So then, once we got in there, the nurse told him, don't worry, sir, I'll update you. I'll tell I'll you take everything, care I'll of take her. care of her, don't worry. And then we had to go, they, they made sure that you had to empty your bladder before you do the procedure. And I remember walking into the, the operating room because it was my turn. <laughs> have you walk in with your little IV bag. I went in there, it was super warm. But there was like five people in the room. I didn't know there was gonna be that many people. And two of them were guys. One was an anesthesiologist. But the other guy was just on the computer inputting all the medical stuff. But I remember 
he's like, the anesthesiologist was like, I'm, okay, I'm gonna insert the medicine. It's gonna be fast. Like, you're gonna fall asleep in 10 to 15 seconds. I'm like, okay. So I look at the clock, I'm like, 8.42. I'm like, I'm gonna try and stay up. So I'm like looking, breathing, and then I feel like the medicine going in because my arm, he said it's either gonna be really cold or it'll start stinging. So I felt the coldness. And then I was like this, okay, I'm gonna stay up. I'm not even tired. And then the sound started getting like, muffled like when you're drinking and you're getting drunk so i couldn't it, i couldn't hear as good i was like okay oh, pop my ears and next thing i wake up to the nurse saying my name and i'm in my room <laughs> and then the first, i just remember her saying something to me and then i curled up in a ball and i still stayed sleeping because you have to sleep for about 30 minutes because the anesthesiologist said you have to sleep for uh, for your body to metabolize to get the medicine out Okay, they say you feel groggy, but honestly, when I woke up, that's how I feel every single day when I wake up. Like, <laughs> super tired. Such I, was, a dork. So I looked at it, I was like, this is how I always feel. Now, I felt a little drunk also, though, when I woke up. It was just a tiny bit, but more of like, I just told the nurse when I woke up, though, she's like, you should take your time. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I feel like I'm drunk. And then she started laughing, and then, Later on, come to find out, like I told Brandon, I'm like, man, imagine the girls like at the date group drug. I'm like, I have like no idea what the heck happened. And the next, the nurse told me before I could leave, she's like, okay, so you're gonna go to the bathroom, you're gonna take out those two pieces of gauze that are in you, and then you're gonna show me. And I looked at her, I was like, there's gauze in me right now? Huh? And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, I had no clue. They just stuffed me up like a turkey. I told Brandon when I came out, I'm like, it was like that magic trick where it's just like the the cloth coming out of the magician's arm and just kept going, kept going, kept going. <laughs> and then after that, that was it. We had a consultation with the doctor, found out our results. We should be hearing back from the embryologist July 3rd about if the eggs and sperm took together. And oh, really? Did we try? So we decided to do four embryos and then freeze the other five eggs. Oh, boy. Yeah, so excited. We just wait for them to call. And then we, we have a whole nother process that we start in August. So I'll have oh, to go yeah. back on. I have to call them on the first day of my period again. And then second day, we go in, we test again. But there's no more shots, which I'm excited for. No more shots. No more shots. Just oral medications. And then from the implantation, if everything goes well, that uh, could be pregnant by the end of pregnant. August. Exciting. Yeah. And it's one step know, closer. One step closer. It's, it's really nothing yet, but it's a big deal from us going from Never. literally last week thinking we couldn't have children to now we have viable <laughs> yeah, products hope, yeah. to create. There's hope. Thanks, so. Kato. Yeah, thanks, Kato. Oh, and by the way, the staff, yeah. the medical staff is yeah. so amazing <laughs> at Kato. We're not just saying that just because, man, the whole the time. The nurses are badass. Yeah, <laughs> from the check-in, like, they just, they're, yeah. they laugh and they crack jokes, appropriate jokes, even when they're tired. Yeah. Their mood doesn't affect you. Like, they're so cheery and happy. Yeah. Even the security guards, upon yeah. checking in at the appointment, just to walk through the doors, everyone's cool, yeah. like. Yeah, I don't know. It's. I hope everyone at least do a consultation. Just go check it out. It's pretty awesome. So, so. but we'll see you guys soon.